This was a scenario that I've been asked to do for a while now. It's been almost three years, which is crazy to think that I've been making JoJo content for that long. It's huge perspective. What if Caesar Zebeli was in part three of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders? Let's look at this what if in full. And oh yeah, before this video starts, I did a small two page fan comic about La Squadra on my Twitter. I plan to visualize this video in the same way that I did that comic, but that will take time to do so, so we'll be seeing that in the future. Now, for this to exist, let's think about how it came to be. For this to happen, Caesar didn't die in part two, obviously. Either that or you have some sort of eyes of heaven thing happen, but we want Caesar to link up with Joseph in terms of age, so we'll keep the original approach. Let's say this one resolved his problems with Joseph, they beat Wamu together, or he didn't fumble the bag by not giving Wamu some shadow, etc, etc, battle tendency is over, now there's what happens after. Now we're at part 2.5 basically. Let's say that both Joseph and Caesar had gone about their lives in somewhat of a similar fashion. Caesar in this case, I believe that we could see him with a family, but I also see him doing what Joseph did to a worse extent. Caesar looks like the type to be either one of the best family men possible, or he would do what Dio had done and just have kids in areas of the world where he's been to. While on one hand, the Zeppelis are living longer, and on the other, he's creating a bunch of fatherless children. So that's not really a good thing. But that won't do much for our focus here now. I will be getting into it later as a little fun side thing. Now we're in part three. As for Caesar's position in Stardust Crusaders, I see him as the aged, understanding, yet potentially aggressive mentor. The problem with that is that you already have Joseph and Kakyoin. Kakyoin is a guide. His tarot card, the Hierophant, lines up with that. Joseph is the aged veteran that can contribute from his conflict and mishaps of the past. As for what Caesar could help with, the idea is to make him smarter than Joseph entirely and have him get more aggressive than Kakyoin when he's making a point. For example, there are areas where there would be some push and shove in the group. Caesar could be the one to either mediate or be the one to actually fight if he sees the altercation being that important to him. Like, let's use the Polnareff and Avdal altercation from the Emperor and the Hangman arc. Let's say that Caesar is around. Caesar was a victim of the longing of vengeance. He would be a great voice towards Polnareff. The problem is that Polnareff is also extremely hard-headed at times. So rather than try to get Polnareff with his words, he might actually fight Polnareff if he can't get his point across. He's like, <laughs> he tells this is exactly what goes. He's just like, look, Polnareff, if these words won't reach you, these fucking hands will. The fighting wouldn't be what stopped the both of them, but what Caesar could say while trying to fight is what could get across to him. Uh, that's just an example though. Also, unrelated to what I said, Caesar's gonna be dying here. It's been a long time coming, and I have no clue as to how he would be dodging death to the point where he gets into part three, but he's he's gonna die here. That's, that's just it. It's the fate of the Zeppeli. The fact that he made it this far is honestly astounding. Now let's look to how we start Stars Crusaders. The introduction is relatively similar. Joseph is being loud and obnoxious in the airport, except it's Caesar right behind him, apologizing to people for him. Jumping to the meeting of Jotaro, now while everyone is bringing out their stands, we're introduced to a new, I guess we could call it a problem. Does Caesar Zebeli get a stand here? For a quick second, let's break off from our story here. Now, it would make sense that Caesar just doesn't get a stand here. If we're considering that, all he has is Hamon, and his Hamon training would fall off after no problems happening after a significant amount of time. Caesar seems like the character that would keep up his training longer than Joseph to uphold the legacy of Hamon entirely, but not exactly sure. What could also happen is that he could carry on what the original Hamon warriors were doing, and he makes his own little clan of Hamon users. If that was to happen, he'd look amazing for one, and two, he'd be one of the most powerful Hamon users ever. So what would we do here? All of you can leave a comment with your thoughts, but I think he would go with the family man that keeps up with his training to this day. It's just not as intense. If we were to have him go the stand route, it would be more so of a, probably a similar Hermit Purple situation. Honestly, it would be like, oh, his stand came into fruition because of his extensive power of Hamon alone. But yeah. 
All right, back to the story. We're meeting with Jotaro, and everything's going the same. The only difference is that Caesar's there, and he's massively confused. Or well, he's nodding because invisible demons are fighting in front of him, and since Joseph had explained the concept of stance of him earlier, he understands what's going on. Now, we're going through all of that we've gone through before. We're running through all these stand users, encountering Anne, everything is normal. Or well, I guess Caesar could just stop the journey and just try to go take Anne to back where she's from. After a while of seeing nothing, I think that he would notice his position in this journey and notice that he just live a better life by not getting involved with this. Then again, he's Caesar, so he would ride or die for Joseph and stick around. Anyways, we're back at it with the whole horse and Jay Guile fight. This fight is a huge turning point in the journey, and I think with Caesar being here, there's a significant difference. For one, what we mentioned earlier is gonna happen, except after getting into it and pulling Earth leaving, both Avdol and Caesar would be trailing behind him. Now, when Polar Nerf gets saved, it's a 3v2. While Jagal and Whole Horse are going to be trying to focus on Avdol solely, that means that Whole Horse is leaving himself open. Caesar, by this time, has probably adapted his ranged abilities to be both strong and useful in any situation. So sending some sort of Hamon bubble attack or something at Whole Horse, and Whole Horse is just stuck with this odd situation. Am I taking out Avdol or Caesar? The answer is neither, because Polnareff is also still around, and these two can just not win with the three of them against them. Whole Horse is taken care of. And then maybe someone got stabbed by Jay Guile. Now it's about getting away and finding Jay Guile, which they probably do. They, they, no, they just do. It's not that crazy. Now here's my thing, and this thought probably concludes the video. Adding Caesar is just making the journey of part three easier. Stand or not, this man is strong, especially with that many years on him, he's definitely busted in some sorts. Plus the best thing to come out of this scenario would be the character interactions more than anything. As for what you do get, you basically just pain everyone that's a part of this. The characters and the people watching. Imagine getting the cast invested with Caesar. He wouldn't be this insufferable teen that he was before. He's enjoyable, he's grown, he's a help to the group. Grown Caesar is like that one sensible friend in the friend group. While everyone is just on some ridiculous amounts of BS, he's just there to be the mom of the group trying to keep everything together. And that's terrible because it's just another person to get invested with that you see him die. It'd be great for everyone's tears, but just sad entirely. Plus, if you thought that Joseph was hurt in part two, imagine growing up with Caesar and then Caesar dies because he came on this adventure with him when he didn't have to. Then add Avdol and Iggy are dying. Maybe Kakyoin lives because I guess Caesar takes the spot. Someone's gonna live probably, it's just not gonna be Caesar, and it's also probably not Iggy. I have an idea of a couple character interactions with grown Caesar and members of the Stardust Crusaders. I might get them adapted into manga form. That'll be cool for those interested. Uh, you should follow my Twitter or Instagram because that's where I will post it first. And to bring up what I was talking about earlier since I said I would talk about this later, Caesar having kids. Now this is an interesting area because he could come out with having a kid the age of Jotaro or it could be pushed to fit part five actually and be in Italy. So that, that would actually line up with Caesar's case. Now that is a whole different mix because if I was to approach this video with that in mind, like, oh, what if we actually had Caesar and his kid in part three? That's a whole different mix to get into, but that would still boil down to part three being easier also. In part five's case, that just seems really different because you have a Dio slash uh, Joestar thing going on with a new Zeppeli. And as to how it would differ in terms of the story, I'm not exactly sure. Obviously, it's going to make stuff like easier, but as for what we could do with that, I'm not sure. I might get, look into that later because I do like these uh, little fan theory, headcanon things, I'm not really sure, these scenarios and all that. It's really interesting. It's a lot to get into. Uh, this is free uh, content for those that make this type of stuff all the time, like when they write their own fictions and all that type of stuff. So hey, put that on the table. So what would happen if Caesar was in part three as a conclusion? Uh, he'd die. You, <laughs> you can't keep on outrunning fate like that. Because cause who do you think you are? Joseph? You're not. You, you gonna die. That's it. 
Uh, thank you all for watching. I'll leave a link to my socials and the La Squadra comic in the description. Well, I guess I should say manga because it reads like manga. Hopefully, I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, peace out and Godspeed. Thank <laughs> you.